Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, this is the ECE 317 DSP1 class. Uh, last time we introduced the concept of Z transform. We defined the Z transform, we introduced the tables, right? And uh, today we will uh, look at some examples about how to calculate to find the Z transform of the signal. You see, it's 317. This will be the uh, seventh week Wednesday's class. Right. Okay, for the transform. The transform uh, for a given signal x of n by the transform, we can have uh, capital X of z or equal to. Uh, summation of all of these xn's times the power of z the power is a z to negative n right? z to negative n and n run from negative to positive infinite this is z transform and we have roc that is uh, all of the x so that this summation of infinite terms this is infinite term, summation with infinite term, right? We want these converge. Converge, right? That means the uh, the summation you have you have a uh, you have a number, a finite number. <coughs> okay. Uh, first of all, we need to make sure what is the uh, this is z. Sorry. What is the R C? What is the space of z? So. Because R C is a part of space of Z, right? I say the Z space. Z space. What is Z space? It is a complex number, right? Complex numbers. Complex numbers. So it's a two dimensional, right? Two dimensional. However, uh, sometimes we need to consider Z equal to infinite. Z equal to infinite. And you see, as a complex number, uh, you can have infinity in different direction. Uh, you can compare with the zero case. Your case, you will have positive infinity and negative infinity for real numbers. But for uh, z, uh, for any direction, you can go to infinity, right? You can go this way, go to infinity. You can go this way to infinity. Uh, around, the, you know, you have 36 degrees. Any any direction you can go to infinity and you can even go to infinity by not a straight line by a curve but finally go to infinity so the thing is somehow complex right and we we can work like this we consider all the infinite is just one point it's just one point and how to go to that one we go, we go the next way You got it? Then by this way, the whole space of the z value, it forms like a ball, right? Like a ball, like the Earth. Make sense? This is a pole. This is south and uh, north. We have pole, right? The one pole is here, one pole is that way. So things like that. Get it? Yeah. So. Okay, so this is a, what is a Z space? It's a Z space. We call this is a uh, uh, name Riemann Riemann phase. Re Riemann. I'm not so sure Riemann Riemann surface. Riemann surface surface of a bar. Uh, it's a it's a it's a mathematics thing. It's a Germany mathematics thing. Riemann Riemann. Uh, Sound like this, but I'm not so sure how to spare. Yeah, remains the face. So it looks like this. He considered the, the, the infinite, all the infinite is just one point. It's just one point. And related with the zero. This side is zero. Right? Okay. And then, uh, okay, you just keep this in your mind. Now we use examples to explain in which case we need this one. Example, we find 
Z transform of signal x of n. Now, most simple case, I just consider x of n is contain finite numbers like one, two, three, two, three, one. Okay, just like this. And here, n equal to zero is this one. Okay, for this case, what will be the capital X of Z? Z transform, right? Is what? As I told you, you can use table. You can check the table. Can you find something like this? But I will say no. We don't have this kind of things in the table. Then you can only use the definition. But this case is easy, right? You only have finite numbers. To it. So you just plug in, you can have the value. All the values of x times the power of z. That will be the z transform. So it will be 1 times the power of z. What is the power? Power will be negative of n. The power is z to the negative n. Negative n. The first element 1. So n is 0. So here is a negative 0. Okay. And similar. Second element is 2 times z to the negative 1. Because here n is 1. And yeah, the all the rest is similar. 3 times z to negative 2, and 2 times z to negative 3, and 3 times z to negative 4, and the last one is uh, just 1 times z to negative 5. Okay, that's it. Uh, if you want to make some simplify, here will be 1, and all the rest you just copy. Okay. I just copy it, nothing, nothing special. Okay, uh, sometimes if you can find something can make this summation shorter, you can do some simplify. But you just just leave it like this, it's, it's fine, it's still fine, yeah. Then we also need the uh, ROC, right? What is ROC? You look at these terms, Z could be anything other than zero, right? Z cannot be zero because you have 1 over z, 1 over z square, 1 over z cube, and two more terms. You have z in the denominator. So z cannot be 0. Okay, so this will be z, z cannot be 0. That's it. This is ROC. Right? Yeah, you, if you put 0, there will 2 over 0, so nothing. You cannot, you cannot divide by 0. Okay. And uh, another example. We can consider x of n equal to uh, 0, 1, 2, 1, 4, 6. But now this side is n equal to 0. Okay, now what is x of z? I still need a summation of the uh, 1 times, okay. This is n equal to 1, the negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So this is n equal to negative 4, right? 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. So the first term is 1 times z to negative of negative 4, negative n. And then 2 times z to the negative, this will be n will be negative 3, right? Negative 3. Plus 1 times z to negative of negative two and four times z to negative negative one and six times z to zero right negative negative zero still zero this is just zero zero e to zero is one so this is six then this is a z force plus two z cube plus z square plus four z just z right power is one and six Okay, so this is the, the Z transform, X of Z. Now what is ROC? All the Z's, but Z cannot be infinite. That's it. Uh, ROC, that means the Z, so that X of Z is finite. But Z, if Z is infinite, this will be infinite. 
uh, you can compare with the first one. In first case, z cannot be zero, but z equal to infinity is a point in RZ. You can let z equal to infinity. When z equal to infinity, this is two over infinity, three over infinity. All these terms, they are zero, right? So when z equal to infinity, x of z has a finite number of one. It's just one, right? Plus some zeros. So we say z is a point in RZ. And the second example, z cannot be infinite. z can be zero. You, you put z equal to zero, you get uh, six, right? Capital X is six. So, so zero belong to RZ. I use this notation. This is a belong to. This means belong to. Zero belong to RZ. Alright. And then another example. X of n equal to 2, 4, 1, negative 1, 2. Okay. And n equal to 0 is this element, 4. Then we will have the z transform. X of z will be what? Similar with previous two examples, I have the element value 2 times the power of z. z to negative of negative 1. Right? Negative n negative n. n is negative 1, so it actually is a positive 1. And 4 times z to 0, that is just 1. So it's a 4. And 1 according to z to negative 1, and another minus z to negative 2, right, it's a negative 1. Negative 1 times z to negative 2. And 2 times z to negative 3. Okay, this is the z transform of the signal. Then what is our C? We need all the Z's, but Z cannot be zero because you have one over Z, one over Z squared, one over Z cubed. Uh, you cannot over zero, right? Z cannot be zero. And Z cannot be infinite. Right? If you let Z equal to infinite, this value will be uh, infinite. RC, you want x of z is a finite number. Right? So this is RC. Okay, so these three examples give us the case for a signal with finite length. Finite length, you see, finite length. Uh, it is just a summation of some terms, like these, or these, or these, some terms, you just by the definition. Just by the definition, right? And the RC will be the whole Z, z space pick uh, remove one point we remove zero or remove infinite yeah, you, you remove one or maybe do we have the case we do not need to remove any number from the z place get the rc we have that is a constant if x is a constant rc x of n it is just like like six, any number, six. Here's n equal to zero. Right. X only contains one value, six. Uh, this means equal to zero, zero, then six, then zero, zero, forever. So this is a six of third of n. Okay. If x of n equal to this one, then we have capital X of z will be what? Will be c times z to negative n that is just one so i got six and rc equal to all z's any z doesn't matter you can use any z because this is a constant no matter what is a z right so it's always a finite number okay this is a finite line signal with finite line Then example, another example. Now we consider a signal with infinite length. Infinite length. I see x of n equal to one half to the n u of n plus one third 
to the n u of n at times 2 here. All right. Then we can have capital X of Z. All right. In this case, you can find it from table. Actually, this is a, a 1 minus 1 half z to negative 1 in denominator and numerator just 1. Yeah, you can check it from the table. And the second is similar thing is 2 over 1 minus uh, 1 minus 1 third z to negative 1. All right. Uh, similar thing, you can keep it, just keep it here. You can also do some simplify, you merge these two fraction as one fraction. So denominator is a multiplication of these two, uh, one here, one minus one third, z to negative one, this is a denominator, and numerator is this one times one here is one minus one third, z to negative one, and plus two times this denominator is one minus one half, z to negative one. Okay, so this is the denominator, let me times these two, I get uh, 1 times 1, this is constant. And negative half, negative 1 third of z to negative 1, negative half, negative 1 third, that is uh, negative 5 six times z to negative 1. And, okay, the square term is a multiplication of these two. So it is plus 1 six z to negative 2. This is a denominator. And the numerator, I combine the constant together and the z negative term together. Constant term, I have 3. Right? 1 and 2, I have 3. And uh, z to negative 1 term, this one is negative 1 third. This one is negative 1. So minus 1 minus 1 third is a minus 4 third. Right? So 1 and 1 third times z to negative 1. Okay, so this is the x of z, x of z. Yeah, you, this one is good. This one is also good. Yeah, it's, a, it's your choice. You can do more work or just keep it like this. Or oh, this one is also fine. Yeah, okay. Then we want to know what is our c. Our c. Uh, similar, when you check the table, you look at table, you get uh, z transform, and also you get uh, the, the RC for each part. I have two parts, right? So the first part is RC, then RC is <coughs> Z larger than one half and absolute value. You need absolute value. Absolute value Z Z larger than one third. So the first one, the first term you get these. The second one you get these. Okay, you combine these two, what can we say? Z either uh, Z should be larger than half and also larger than one third. So actually just larger than half, that will be fine, right? This is just larger than one half. So this is our C. This is our C. And we can use a graph to see how it looks like. Uh, I have a this is one half, and inside we have small circle. This is one third, and R C will be the space outside, it. right? Outside. It. Yeah. So this is R C. R C. You choose a common one. Uh, we can check the table. We have this in the table. We have the property. Okay, we have two. Two tables. The first table gave us the uh, common U, the Z transform pairs, okay. signal, Z transform, and RC. And the uh, second one is the property. Property. You see, when you have two signals, you do summation. Uh, maybe you have constant, you have coefficients before you do the summation. Right? A times x1 and B times x2. In our this example, in our this example, you consider this is a x1, this one half term, and this one third one is a x2, and you have coefficient a is just one and b is two, so so you can apply that property, right? Go back to this property. So 
you have this one. Then in the z domain, you just do the summation. And RC is what? RC is the intersection of two those two RCs. Right? This the uh, RX one is RC of X one. RX two is RC of X two. So we use the common area of X one and X two. There will be the final answer, the RC for the whole thing. And uh, in our example here, we have similar thing, right? We have uh, two part. Each part has RC. Then we check the common area, common area, larger than half and larger one, larger than one third. So the common area should be larger than half, right? Larger than half. Okay. So this is the RC of this X, and uh, now we can consider one more example. X of n equal to 2 to the n u of n. Okay, this one, I think I have similar example use a Fourier transform, right? But uh, the result is, I think this one I get, uh, uh, did I? This should be no Fourier transform. Do we have? Oh, I don't use this example. Anyway, this one, we actually, we do not have. This one, no Fourier transform, we should know. No Fourier transform. But we can have Z transform. We can have Z transform. This transform, we still have this x of z equal to 1 over 1 minus 2 times z to negative 1. You just check the table. And what is rc? rc is uh, z is z larger than that, uh, a, that 2, right? Check the table. I just I come in this, I get this by table, right? The fifth one, the fifth one is a to the n times u of n. The RC is z larger than absolute value of a. So now absolute a is two. So absolute value is also two. So the RC is z larger than two. Z larger than two. All right. RC is z larger than two. So we have z transform. Although we do not have Fourier transform on it. Fourier transform. You you have to uh, suppose this one is uh, this two is uh, the the power of uh, numbers more than one, so this two is larger than one. You cannot use it. All right. Yeah. And another example: x of n equal to uh, I still use two of n, two to the n, and the u of n plus one. This. Okay, this one. If you check the table, you can find we do not have this kind of things. Uh, u of m plus one. Anyone with u of m plus one? No, right? If you turn around, all of them. You do not have something with m plus one here. The index is m plus one. We do not have. We have u of n, but no u of m plus one. Then how to work on it? We have actually we have two ways. We have two ways to find the Z transform. This is the method one. This one x of n. I can write in this way. It is one over two times two to the n plus one and the u of n plus one. So this is one over two, two to the n u of n, but we shift a uh, shift n to be n plus one. Yeah, this is a shift shift of to n u of n. All right, now we know how to work on it. We go to the table. We know in the table we have two things. The first thing is some number to the n times u of n. Second one is about a shift. So we check the details. Uh, first one is same, the, the fifth term, right? The fifth term. 
we know okay let me copy it we know 2 to the n u of n will go to 1 over 1 minus 2 z to negative 1 and z should be larger than a absolute value of a so this is 2 okay this is a fifth I copied this fifth in my notes and I also need a shift I have a probably shift here the second see the second term in this table a shifted one what will happen so uh, x of m plus uh, m minus n0 according to z to negative n0 x of z all right okay let me go back yeah so we know this one a to the n times u of n we have this one and uh, shift x n to n, uh, n minus n0 where we go to where be this one okay then I combine this one uh, oh this x is not that x this is x this is a different x this is a, I say this is x tier x wave x wave x tier all right yeah not that x that x is given is that one okay so we have capital X of Z or equal to one half I just keep it this is constant totally constant nothing change and inside is uh, this one so this one give us 1 minus 2 z to negative 1 in denominator numerator is 1 right so this is the part uh, inside one but actually it is a shifted of this shifted of this so by shift you need a times what you times this one times this one so here I need a times z to negative n0 what is n0 now here you see m minus n0 here is negative n0 but here is n plus 1 right this is n plus 1 n move to n plus 1 n plus 1 so what is n0 there will be negative 1 right so m minus n0 equal to n plus 1 so n0 is negative 1 okay so here is n0 is negative 1 and x tier uh, x tier to now will be will be this one right will be this one so 1 over 1 minus 2 z to negative 1 oh I already have sorry okay. yeah I already put it yeah. <laughs> double yeah. yeah so this one times z right this one times z the power of z so I get this one and I can write it as uh, 2 times 1 minus 2 z to negative 1 this is a denominator the numerator is a z right minus 1 negative negative 1 so just a z all right then what is our c our c uh, we know the result is obtained by these two by these two right so we needed our c related with these two for first one z larger than 2 for 1 minus 2 z to negative 1, 1 over 8 right for this part we want z is larger than 2 and when you do shift what will happen for the uh, for the rc let me go to the table okay here when you do a shift rx except for the possible addition or deletion of the region or infinite so this rx the rc will be as same as xz's except maybe you will make some change on the z equal to zero and z equal to infinite all right so here let's go back to here we know uh, for this part the RC is this one so now the RC will be still these but maybe you will do some change on the zeros maybe you need to remove or add zeros now how to determine you need to add a zero or remove a zero or add infinite remove infinite you look at X of Z X of Z X of Z you have this part 
and also you have z you have a two two that nothing change right? two is just content uh, we're not changing our z but here you have z what i mean z cannot be infinite z cannot be infinite if z is infinite if z is infinite uh, then you cannot have capital x of z so the rc finally we have rc will be all those z's z absolute value are larger than 2 and z cannot be infinite you got it yeah if this is infinite then you have uh, uh, infinite value yeah we don't want the infinite value on capital x oh here's a little bit confused you should know the z z can have value infinite that is a point in the another side of the surface you can think okay another side of the earth ah. okay. so z cannot be infinite uh, but the value of uh, x of z we want this is a value cannot be equal to infinity it should be a finite number this one never have value infinity it should be a finite number okay all right so this is a method one we use two properties from the table this is one uh, coming from the Z transform peers, a signal and its Z transform. Of course, you also need RC. And the second is from another table. It's a shifted signal related with this kind of uh, Z transform. And the for the RC, maybe you need to add or remove a zero or a infinite. Okay. This is a example. Uh, the measure one. Now measure two. Uh, this signal. Actually, you see this signal. This signal because of we have a shift. The signal some part go go to uh, go to the negative side. Actually, the meaning is after you shift, you cannot use the table directly. Now we have a look. We can look look at look the graph of x of n. When n zero, right, this is x. When n zero, we have u of one, so it is one. So here's n zero. So two to the zero. So totally, this is a two to the zero. This is one. Well, n is a positive one, or any positive value, it will be two to the n. Right? If here is n, then here will be two to the n, or oh, should be large value, right? Large value, two to the n. Okay, so this is for positive n, and for negative n, if n is a negative one, what happened? Well, n is a negative one. This is a u of zero, so it is one. So two to the negative one times one. Two to the negative one times one. Two to the negative one is half. Times one, there will be still half. So we have this one. We have this one. This is a uh, for n is a negative one, right? N is a negative one. And then we keep keep moving. Let n is negative two. What will happen? Well, n is negative two. When n is negative two, here's where we n of uh, here will be u of negative one. That is zero. So this will be zero, 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 always zero for n larger than or equal to that two. Uh, uh negative two. Oh, not smaller, sorry. And not larger, it should be smaller. It's a negative sign. Smaller than or equal to negative two. Yeah, negative two. For this part, they are zeros. And this side, there will be some value become larger and larger because the, uh, it will be looks like this, larger and larger because the power of uh, of two should be double actually. I and this is just a uh, I sketch it not as accurate. Here should be double of the first value. Then uh, one more double, one more double. Okay, 
then you know x of n equal to you see you have this part this is a uh, you have uh, what is the value when n is a negative 1 put it away example here well, n is negative 1, this value will be n is negative 1, this is a one, 1 half, right? 1 half. Okay. So it is a 1 half, a positive, 1 half, and n equal to negative 1. Okay, this is a signal. You know, here I write this way. Actually, it is a signal. It's a signal. Uh, only when n equal to negative 1, its value is 1 half and all the rest value is zero. You can also write this as one half third of n plus one. You can also write in this way. Alright. Uh, same thing. Then the plus the rest part. Rest part will be uh, signal is here. When n is zero I get a one. Right. And then when n is one you get uh, here is a two. So actually it's a 2 to the n u of n. Now you can separate the signal. You use this one as a single single signal only has this value. It is a parse, right? It is a parse. Parse shifted by one. The parse, if you do not shift the parse, you'll be here. Now shift it by one. And the other part is the power of constant a. Power of constant uh, a. A is a 2. Okay. So by z transform now we can use the table x of z will be this is half of dirt uh, not, not, not half of dirt you can just write it directly because this is just one number one half and according z to the negative n right n is negative one so you can just write this because this is z transform definition of z transform right for this term this is a single term we have this and for all of these you can use the table so this is 1 minus 2 times z to negative 1 in denominator, numerator is 1. All right. Then this is the final answer. Uh, let me finish it. This is a 1 half z plus 1 minus 2 z to negative 1 is 1. All right. And uh, let me combine them together. 1 minus 2 z to negative 1. This is 1 half z times 1 minus 2 z to negative 1 plus 1. So this is a denominator is same. Numerator is half of z minus 1 plus 1. Right? 1 half times this 2 cancel. z times z to negative 1 also cancel to be 1 left. So this term is 1 left. Okay, so we have this. And it is just the one half z over one minus two z to negative one. Do we have? Yeah, we got this one. And we can compare with previous method. So by method one, I have this one, right? And this is the result of method two. Are they same? The same, right? The same. They are same. But then what is ROC? We still need to consider ROC, right? Uh, so method two, we need to find ROC by method two. Right? For method two, uh, we rewrite x of n as summation of two parts. Then go to the z domain, we have these two parts. For the first part, from here to here, so this one is a half times z. This is just z, half of z. And z cannot be infinite, right? We want our c is a, the z make capital X has a finite number. So z cannot be infinite. Okay, so uh, for 1 over 2 for this signal we need a RC is Z cannot be infinite 
and for 2n u of n r c is absolute value of z larger than uh, 2 larger than n, n is, uh, larger than a, a is 2 so combine these two then we know r c is z should be larger than 2 and z cannot be infinite and like this yeah, this is all then we compare the previous result uh, this is a transform form uh, the function function and here rc yeah. this is the first by first method we have rc like this and this is second method we have rc like this same thing right uh, uh this this yeah. yeah so larger than two but cannot be infinite this is larger than two cannot be infinite the same thing so you can e use either way to find the uh, the transform and uh, both works both works all right uh, we can have can we have another example let me consider like this example I have uh, x of n which is uh, one half to absolute value of n like this okay so what is the, the transform of this signal uh, if you check the table you can see we do not have this one in the table you can find this one this power is the absolute value of n but uh, then you can try to rewrite it so that you can find it from the table uh, you can think like this of course you give a graph that will be easy you can think 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 it easy if you do not have graph you can also think about it that but that is harder okay give a graph how it looks like x of n this is n when n is zero you get one right and when n is one you get half two another half right so like this half and half when n is a positive side when n is a negative side now that will be symmetrically right? similar right when n is a negative one absolute value is just one so same with this so it look like this all right you can see now the signal you can consider separate as two part as two part one is this way one is this way two part so we have x of n equal to uh, positive side is one half now this is just positive n times u of n right we start from this one so this is just this one and plus okay the other side the other side will be uh, still one half but the power is negative n and we want n is smaller than zero start from negative one so this is u of negative n minus one yeah yeah so u of negative n minus one will be one or zero this if negative n minus one larger than or equal to zero this is if negative n minus one smaller than zero right this is u of negative n minus one and it will be one or zero if this one this one you will have what negative n minus one larger than zero so negative n were larger than one negative n larger than one so n were smaller than negative one uh, with a equal right so this yeah i put it here negative n minus one larger than or equal to zero give us negative n larger than or equal to one so i remove this negative this side will be negative and the larger than will change to be smaller than so i have n smaller than negative one n smaller than negative one and another another condition this one this give us if n larger than or larger than negative one right 
you just remove this negative n to right side that is a n larger than negative 1 n larger than negative 1 you see this is a u of negative n minus 1 it is just a 1 for all the negative n's and for n larger than negative 1 so that means n equal to 0 or 1, 2, 3 are the positive integers right so for all this part it is 1 for this part uh, or this part is 0 this part is 1 okay so it is this one times this all right now we can have we can have z transform z transform we have capital X of Z equal to the uh, first one give us that is 1 over 1 minus 1 half Z to negative 1 you can find this directly from table and the second one you check the table we still have it we still have it uh, this one 6 6 you see 6 uh, let, me, let me copy 6 in table negative a to the n times u of negative n minus 1 go to 1 over 1 minus a z to negative 1 and z should be smaller than a absolute value okay with the absolute value all right so I have this one I get this from table so now you look at you compare these two the uh, u part are same a part is also same but you have a minus here uh, here no minus and here's a negative n but here's a to the n so actually this is same with 2 to the n right 2 to the n okay so we want this one this one minus 2 to the n so this one go to 1 minus 2 z to negative 1 and here will be 1 right so I get this one I get this one all right yeah uh, this is plus this is, here's a minus so plus will change it to be minus and here's a 2 to the n this is a to the n so here's 1 minus a z to negative 1 with RC first one I want RC Z larger than one half right and second Z smaller than that A A is 2 A is 2 so the RC is this RC is this uh, Z should be valued between half and the 2 uh, you can also write it together half smaller than z and smaller than 2 yeah you have this and what it is this in the in the z space it is a it is a circle circle here's a one half here's a two you know the inside circle is uh, use one half as the readers and the outside circle use two as readers and I'll say this is ring. It's a ring, right? It's a ring. It's a RC. Alright. Okay. Uh, that's all for today. And uh, uh, we will keep working on the Z transform next time. Alright. Okay. See you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.